Point one, finding the surface area of the three-dimensional figures. Okay, so in this uh, section, we're going to be talking about uh, three, three figures. We're going to be talking about the surface area of a cylinder. A cylinder, you know, this is the shape of a cylinder. I'll show you another one here. This is more, more clear. So this is a cylinder, and we need to find the surface area of that cylinder. Remember, the cylinder has a top and a bottom and a surrounding area. So we could find uh, some cylinders, by the way, they could be hollow. That means they don't have a top or a bottom. And some of them will have probably one end closed and the other ones open. So now we need, when we do the surface area, we need to keep this in mind. Is it a, a solid uh, cylinder or a, a hollow cylinder or one one-sided cylinder? So we need to find the area of a circle, which is the top part, and find the, the area of the surrounding, okay? So that's one thing. The second one is we're going to be doing is the, actually the cone. Remember the ice cream cone that you guys eat? So the ice cream cone looks like this, and I want to find the surface area of that ice cream cone. Remember, the cone also has a top part. It could be hollow, it could be solid. So if it's a solid, we need to keep in mind that we need to know the, the, circle, the area of the circle on top. And also, we need to find the, the surface area of the cone itself, okay? So the surrounding here. Now, go to the next one. You're going to find the next one will be what? The, the, the sphere. The sphere also, uh, we need to find the surface area of it. Now, we, I mean, I, you know, we could think of a sphere as being created out of four circles, for example, okay? Because it's four times pi r squared. So imagine yourself, you're making a, a ball or a sphere. So you probably if you have four circles and you're trying to connect them together in a, in a, in a uh, certain way, you could probably create a, a sphere out of that. So you could memorize it as a four times pi r squared, okay? So that's how you do it. But like I said, we, we in class, we'll do the whole thing, okay? So nothing to worry about. It's easy, by the way. You just need to memorize certain rules, and that will be not that hard. Okay, and we'll do more examples when we get to them. The next section will be about the volume of the cylinder. So it's only we will be a volume of a cylinder, and a cylinder is how much how much water we could put in. For example, imagine this is a, a, a fish tank uh, in a cylinder way. So you could put uh, something inside it as a water, for example, and this way you could have uh, a volume inside that cylinder. Okay. So, like I said, we'll, when we get to them, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, learn the rules, and uh, I'll teach you how to memorize the rules. Okay, that's they're easy to memorize, by the way. Okay, so nothing to worry about. So, and that's it for this week, and then we'll go with the other sections the week after. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Bye bye.